Sagittarius, it's your girl Nosh, and this is your video for Sagittarius. So all the guys asking me in the other videos, where's my Sagittarius video? Here it is, guys. This is going to be for the week of June 14th to June 21st. I know we're a couple days into it already, but I think it's only one day that we're in, I think. I'm not sure. A couple days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, so we're three days in. Do we really count time, guys? We're Sagittarius. Do we really care about time? No, that's why we're always either late or we just are so impatient because we want it now. All right, that might be the theme of this video tonight. I want it now because I feel like a lot of Sagittariuses out there are feeling like they're they're. It's like it's like being the um the racehorse before the race begins. Like um, like you know how they push the um the horse into its uh its its its, its area, its certain area where they have to like you know break out of that and start the start the race i feel like that's how a sagittarius has been feeling like we've been sitting in one spot for so long that we want to move we want to go forward so badly but i think what the universe is trying to teach us right now is that patience is key the more patient we are the faster we'll actually get there and i know it's really like kind of crazy to put it in that term that the more pa the patient we are the faster we'll get there it's like no the faster we we are the faster we'll get there actually the universe kind of looks at it the opposite way the more we we hang on the more we we open ourselves up the more we actually pay attention and listen to ourselves and others around us and, and you know and in tune and get in tune with everybody else especially with ourselves that's when we're actually going to move faster there um, always remember guys that the destination is the destination but the journey in itself is actually a very beautiful thing um, that's actually been in my mind for the past week actually me personally that yeah I'm gonna get there but getting there is actually beautiful right now it, it's awesome because I'm, I'm, I'm walking and um, I'm on my journey and I'm, I'm feeling everything I'm seeing everything I'm appreciating everything I'm valuing everything you know I'm valuing it more this time around than I actually ever did in my past so I think uh, that's something to uh, take into consideration as we make our journey to wherever it is that we're meant to be, that um, it's okay to stop and smell the roses for a little bit if they actually smell really nice. All right, so let's get into your reading. Universe, Ascendant Masters, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, can you please protect me as I do this reading? I ask that you please give me three cards to relate to Sagittarius and what's going on for them for the week of June 14th to June 21st. June 14th to June 21st, what's going on? What's going on for Sagittarius? What's going on for Sagittarius for June 14th to June 21st? What's going on for Sagis June 2014th to June 21st? I was going to say the 24th. So somebody mark that date down. That might be an interesting date for us, the 24th. Okay, so I got the Death card. I got the Seven of Swords. And I got the... Seven of Wands. Okay. So, Sages. Remember how I said that we're ready to move forward? We're ready to have things happen? Things are going to happen this week. We are going to transform. There's a big transformation coming. Um, there's a big... There's a, there's a beginning coming. I, I always look at death as a beginning. Um, a lot of people look at death as um, end it all be... End it all be... You know, end it all... What's, the, what's that thing? How does it go? End it all, be all? Yeah, something like that. I kind of look at death as something beautiful in the sense where when something is dying, something else is, is, is taking its place and being reborn. Um, that's why the death card to me is so important and it's actually one of my favorites in the, uh, in the deck because whenever I see this card, that means change is coming. And we've all been waiting for change. I know myself, I, I, when I become stagnant, I become irritable, I become bored, I become... ADHD basically you know like every, everything around me it's like us like oh my god where's this going on like is it can we get to the next episode please can you give me another season so right now for us Sagittariuses <clears throat> what's happening is we are having a transformation coming in something is going to transform us in a way that we needed to be transformed we're going to evolve a soul that's evolving is a soul a soul that is actually golden um, if a soul that isn't evolving is kind of it's being stagnant there's really no no purpose for that soul because a soul has been revolving in this universe time after time just to you know evolve a soul that's been revolving a soul is a soul that's been evolving just think about that I, I always like you know say that to myself then you have the seven of swords seven of swords can be in a sense where you're you're guarding something um you know you're you're trying to like 
protect something. You're trying to protect something from someone else or something else. Um, this could also be looked at as, as someone is running away from you. They're kind of like packing up in the middle of the night and just kind of fleeing. They're leaving. Someone is leaving, either you or, or another person or an individual that you're dealing with, they may be leaving. Or this could be looked at in a certain for certain individuals that someone is stealing your heart, basically. Um, someone is stealing something from you and, and leaving. Um, I kind of look at it as a sense that someone steals your heart. Stealing your heart is not as bad as stealing your money, stealing your energy, stealing your focus. So just, just think about that for a second, okay? So who is stealing from you and is it a good or bad steal? Then you have the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is all about passion. It's all about standing up for what you believe in. It's defending yourself. So Sagittarius, I feel like later on this week, you're gonna come across something or you're gonna come across a situation where you're gonna have to defend yourself or, it's, or the person that you're dealing with is gonna have to defend themselves, okay? So put these cards together. I feel it could be possible that, Sagittarius, maybe you're defending yourself from someone stealing something from you. Someone's stealing your heart. Maybe you're in defense mode because you know this person is going to steal your heart and you're like, ah, uh, no. I don't want to give my heart you know that's what the cards are saying basically but the fact that there's a death in front of this card right here I kind of feel like the transformation is that you are letting go of things from the past a lot of things that have been done to you you are finally letting them go because that's where the death is coming in there is an ending and then that means there's a new beginning that's coming and the fact that the swords card is coming out in the middle it is an air sign um, Libra Gemini Aquarius also, it could be that you're mentally, you're, you're, somebody could be stealing your ideas. Guys, I just got this one. I don't know where I got this one from, but somebody could be stealing your ideas. Or someone is um, stealing your thoughts, you know, um, or they're in your thoughts. They're like, um, like in my language, we have this thing where if you think about someone too much, it's like they're stealing your thoughts, you know, they're stealing your thoughts away so that you, they could be used by them. Um, nothing negative or anything it's just that this person is on your your mind a lot and maybe you're trying to defend yourself from that like kind of protect yourself like because knowing Sagittarius is you guys well you know you guys know this very well that once you've been bitten you guys try to you know stay away from that again like if the dog bites you you try not to pet that same dog again but I kind of feel like this time around with this transformation going on you're actually more confident in yourself you're feeling more of yourself you're feeling wiser and again you're evolving you're an evolving soul Sagittarius and this is exactly what's going on so regardless of this person is stealing from you or doing something to you you're going to be you're going to be protecting yourself you're going to be defending yourself this could also be that you could just be defending your beliefs because this guy over here is holding a stick out and all these other guys are at the bottom trying to battle him and he's got this one stick and he's like no you're not going past this could be that you know what someone is jealous Someone is jealous that you transformed, that you you actually went further um, and you left them behind and now they're upset. They want to come back and steal from you. You know, this could also be an ex returning where they, they want to come back and again, they want to steal from you. They want to steal your heart from you and you're like, no, it's not happening again. You know, a lot of times guys in life, one should always move forward instead of going backwards. Regardless of time, regardless of who you know or what, who, what this person means to you. Um, it's always best to move forward in life. On the ladder of life, you want to climb up, not down, right? Because when you, you got to get to the top, you're not going to the bottom. So that could be it for some Sagittarius out there that you do have an ex coming around and they want to be with you and you're on your guard. You're like, no, not this time around, buddy. As my friend Cam would say, stay in your own lane. No, 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 no. All right, Sagittarius, and then plus who wants something from the past? That's why it's in the past. All right. I always tell people if it didn't work the first time, it's not going to work the second time. So be very aware. I can't tell you what to do. And a lot of you are probably going to say, no, I don't want my ex back. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Keep that attitude, especially when they come around. Because Sagittarius says we have a very forgiving heart, very forgiving heart. But just keep in mind, just because you forgive someone doesn't mean you have to be with that person. You can forgive them and then keep them to, to you know, at your distance. So guys, that's your reading for this week, for the week of uh, June 14th to June 21st. I hope you guys liked it. Um, please hit the subscribe button and the notification button and the like button, if you will. Um, and leave a comment down at the bottom and let me know how your summer is going so far. Because I think we're about to hit summer in a couple days. And I know I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. And thank you again for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.